Hey everyone, in this tutorial we're going to take a quick look at how to customize and expand your crowd simulation with any actor source, and how to use custom actor groups and crowd generation for more variety. If you're not yet familiar with crowd simulation, please check out the basic tutorials for motion director and crowd generation first. Let's go through the various actor sources first. You'll find the most recommended actors for iClone crowd simulation on the Actor Core page. They are fully rigged and include facial blend shapes for expressions. If you want to bring in external characters, you can follow the bone mapping workflow in Character Creator. This process will auto-detect all major standard CG rigs and retarget them for compatibility with iClone. You can also manually map your own custom rigs as well. Please refer to the dedicated tutorials for more on that workflow. If you have a mesh without a rig, you can use AccuRig, which is an auto-rigging system included with Character Creator and also as a separate application. This simple process will set up your character's body with a Reillusion standard skeleton so that it will be fully compatible with all Reillusion software and motions. You can then save your character to the content manager for future use. Okay, once you have your actors prepared, you can get started on creating a custom actor group from the Create menu. I'll randomize the type and angle and drag in two characters to the viewport. You'll then want to ensure that you add custom tags here to classify your actors, and then ensure that they are also selected in the tag column under Actor Pool. Click and drag your preferred motion to your character in the viewport, and under Motion Pool Settings, you can also select an accessory. Remember to choose the relevant tags for the motions as well, as tags are very important to match your character type to the respective motion. You can play back at any time to preview the result. You can assign multiple motions to each actor's library, again being sure to assign the suitable accessory for that motion as well if needed. Again, be sure to assign the correct actor tags to each motion. Once you're finished constructing your actor group, you can then click Save and save it to your local disk. From there, simply drag it into your viewport and hit randomize as many times as you want until you get the combination that you like. Using this method, you can rapidly populate your scene with an eclectic mixture of background characters. You can also use custom IMDs via Motion Director's Motion Mixer as well. In Motion Mixer, we can combine elements from two separate motions to create a completely new custom perform. You may need to adjust various elements such as mixer weights to refine the results. This new feature gives you near infinite possibilities with just a few original motions. Please check out the dedicated motion mixer tutorial for more. Once you have your custom actor groups and IMDs, you can utilize them both to populate your scene in no time at all. In the crowd generation window, load in your custom actors along with your custom IMDs. Again, ensuring that you add your custom tags and properly classify each to match the actors with their respective IMDs. Once that's done, you can utilize the various crowd generation settings to populate your scene via both nav mesh and walkways. That's it for this basic workflow tutorial on getting your custom characters and motions applied to the crowd generation feature. Please be sure to check out our other crowd simulation tutorials for more information on the specific features. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.